youngsters, welcome to our Young Teens Church Online. Yay! Today is the day that the Lord has made, and we will rejoice and be glad in it. We have been stored a lot of things just for you. So be excited for the online praise and worship, SKL series, wonderful Bible story, and the power verse. This will be a time of fun and learning at the comfort of your home. So tune in, interact with us, and just chill and finish the video up until the end. Are you all excited? That's great. I'm excited too. But let us all stand up. Let's close our eyes and let's bow down our head as we pray. Heavenly Father God, we want to thank you for this wonderful day that you've given us. Lord, we pray, God, that you will bless for God every young kid out there is currently watching at their home. Bless their family, open up their hearts, their mind, and their ears to receive your word today. Thank you so much for the fun-filled day. We honor you. We give you all the praise and glory, God. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Yay! Yes, you hear it right? 
And right now we are going to repeat with attitude, okay? So one, two, three. My giant may be big, but my God is bigger, yeah! And because of that, I'm going to give you some live TikTok. One, two, three. My God is so big, so strong and so mighty. There's nothing my God cannot do. So real talk. We have giants in life. Maybe it could be family problem. It could be like depression, sadness. It could be like loneliness. Maybe the bullies out there or the trail of friend or maybe online classes like a lot of requirements, exams. Yeah, you know that feeling. But you know what? There's a lot of giants in life and you feel that you are a little tiny creature. I have a good news for you. Our God is bigger than those problems. He ain't Loki. He ain't loser, but he is a big God. And to end this, guys, if you face some giants in life, always remember those SKL words today. My giant may be big, but my God is big. Hey, youngsters, welcome to our Bible story. And for today, we'll be learning about the series called The Giant. Speaking of the giant, I have a question for you. What is the most giant? I mean, the biggest thing you have ever seen. Right. Those are some of the pretty giant things. And I'm sure when you're standing next to those giants, you will feel so small. Right? Well, today we'll be learning about the giant from the Bible and we will learn how we must take or defeat the giant with God's help. Are you ready for our Bible story for today? That's great! Our story is found in 1 Samuel verse 17 and this is the story about the young shepherd David and the giant named Goliath. The Philistine and Israelites faced each other on the opposite hill with a valley between them. Then Goliath a Philistine champion from the city of God came out to face the forces of Israel. Who is Goliath? Goliath is a giant man measuring over 9 feet tall. He wore a bronze helmet and a coat of armor that weighed 125 pounds. He also wore a bronze leggings and he slung a bronze javelin over his back. Wow, this giant Goliath was pretty scary to look at. Not only that, but he did not have a good things plan for the Israelites' army either. Goliath stood and screamed across the Israelites' army and said, Do you need a whole army to settle this? Choose someone who will fight for you and I will represent the Philistines. We will settle this dispute in a single combat. Send me a man who will fight with me. If your man is able to kill me, then we will be your slaves. But if I kill him, huh? then you will be our slaves. The winner of the battle would determine whether or not the Israelites would become the slaves to the Philistines. All the Israelites' army who heard Goliath threatening was scared to death. They all looked at each other and no one wanted to fight this giant Goliath. They were all too terrified. Everyone except David. But who is David? David is a young shepherd boy that lived in Israel. He had several brothers, seven to be exact who were fighting in the army. One day, David's dad, Jesse, asked him to take out some food to his brothers. When David arrived in the battlefield, he expected a lot of fighting scene that is going on. But that is not what he saw. He saw the entire army of Israel hiding while the giant Goliath screaming and yelled insults at them. The entire army of Israel was allowing this big giant Goliath talking like this to our God and threaten his people. David asked all the soldiers around him and asked, Is there no one who will stand up to this giant Goliath? The soldiers told him that they were all too afraid to fight this giant Goliath. So David spoke and said, Then I will fight this Philistine. As soon as David spoke those words, his brothers began to make fun of him. And they said, 
What do you know about fighting? You are just a little shepherd boy. You can do that. <laughs> David was told in the tent of King Saul, and King Saul asked David what he was planning to do. Then David said, Don't worry this thing, my king. I will kill this Philistine. King Saul looked at David and said, Don't be ridiculous. There is nothing that you can do to this giant Philistine. You are just a boy. And he, Goliath, he was a soldier since he was a boy. David's brothers and King Saul both were convinced that David just didn't have what it took to defeat the giant. David spoke up to King Saul and said, I have been taking care of my father's sheep. When a lion or a bear comes to steal a lamb from the flock, I go after it with a club and take the lamb from its mouth. If the animal turn on me, I cut it by the jaw and club to death. I have done this to both lions and bears, and I will do this to this Philistine. The Lord who saved me from the claws of the lion and the bear will save me from this giant Goliath. Wow, David had a lot of confidence in God to bring him through this battle. What we can learn from the story of David and Goliath? Goliath is the giant. And giant is any problem that we face in our life. All of us have different giants. Those may come in all forms. It may be a simple habit, the way of thinking, or maybe even another person who chooses to go against you. Remember, no matter what the giant is in your life, one thing is for sure. Those giants are meant to be defeated. Be like David. He was a brave young boy. He wasn't brave because he's smart, skillful, and strong, but he knew that God is with him. And that is where our courage comes from, from the Lord. We need to trust the Lord. And when we trust the Lord, He is always with you. Youngsters, did you learn a lot today from our story? That's great. So see you next week as we continue the story of David and the giant named Goliath. Bye-bye. Are you ready for our power verse for today? That's great! So our power verse is in Romans 8, 31. If God is for us, who can be against us? So I will be teaching you a dance steps from that verse. So let's stand on our feet and let's do this together. Romans 8, 31. If God is for us, who can be against us? So let's do it again. Romans 8, 31. If God is for us, who can be against us? Romans 8, 31. If God is for us, who can be against us? If God is for us, who can be against us? Yay! Hey, you did great, youngsters! Good job! Did you have fun today, youngsters? Don't forget to apply all the things that you've learned. So let's close this in a word of prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for today. Thank you for all the learnings. Thank you, God, that Lord, you will be strong and courageous. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. This ends our Young Teens Online. See you next week. Bye-bye.